Hey, what up? This is Eddie04, and today we're going to learn how to use a Wise Cam as a video capture device for your stream. Now, talking about stream, I stream on Twitch every single week. You can go ahead and check the link in the description below, or you know, just say hi over there. So today, the Wise Cam is actually an indoor Wi-Fi camera, but you're going to learn how to use this as an additional capture device to be able to have a different angle for your stream. You can use it on OBS, um, Streamlab OBS, and even StreamYard. So I know that we are currently in still post pandemic, but it's still difficult to get a webcam and webcams out at least good ones, right? And webcams out there are kind of expensive. Other ways of actually getting this to work properly is if you get it either a DSLR camera or a camcorder and connecting it into an Elgato cam link or any other capture card. Now, if you don't know how to do that, actually you can follow one of my tutorials up here uh, and you can check the cards. Now, what we're gonna be doing today is actually using a Y security camera. This is a, I'll call inexpensive security camera. It's less than $30 and uh, this actually is not a webcam this works as a security camera which has its own firmware and you can control it through your cell phone to you know pretty much check for any kind of footage that is out there uh, in your home but uh wise actually released a new firmware which is their webcam firmware and this webcam firmware will allow you to override whatever's here and use it as a webcam now it's not an easy to do thing because you have actually a few things that you need to use like some prerequisites one of them is actually getting a micro sd card now the micro sd card you just need it to be able to save the firmware here and pass it on into the y security camera and also you will need a usb a to usb a cable this is not a common cable to have at home actually we got this when we were doing the comparison between the elgato camlink and its competitors you can check the card up here if you want to watch that video uh, but yes this usb a to usb cable is what we'll be needing so that we can successfully uh use it as a webcam with your computer so with no further ado let's dive into this so the first thing we're going to do we're going to go ahead and open up this micro sd card uh, we're going to snap it into the computer so that we can pass on uh, the firmware and then from there depending on whatever we find we can go ahead and put it into the wise cam so we're going to dive in right away now this wise cam is actually version 2 if you want to check in the box as you can see here i don't know if you can get to see it here where it says wise cam version 2. so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up now I always read the instruction in any device that I use uh, because that's who I am. I don't like using things without even knowing what is going on there. And then worse, I don't want to mess it up. So uh, just like a quick unboxing. Uh, it has the power brick, has a micro USB to USB A. Um, it's just pull it out pretty much. You turn where you want to have it. Now, at the bottom is actually the micro SD port. So, just to let you know, it's right there. And then the reset or the setup button is right beside it. It's pretty small. As you can see here, micro SD port, reset or setup button. And then you can turn this around. So, we're going to go straight forward. That's the Wise Cam. I'm going to go and open this. So here's the micro SD card. Uh, it comes with an adapter. You can check and the links in the description below if you want to get any of these products. I'm going to go ahead and download the Wisecam version 2 firmware. The firmware that you're going to be using is going to, you're going to extract that zip file and you want to use the one that says demo. Right, so we are here and uh, specifically in their instructions they say that you want to use the one that says demo.bin. So this is the one that we're gonna copy and put into our micro SD card. That's about it. So now that we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect our micro SD card and we're gonna put it into the Wise Cam. And then after that, what we wanna do is press the setup button for about three to six seconds uh, while we have that memory in there. And that should flash uh, whatever framework is already installed in this Wise Cam. So so it actually tells you how to put in your micro SD card and I don't know if you can see that there, but it actually tells you to put it 
uh, where the icon is facing up. So put it in. Push it in. There you got micro SD card is inside there. And now what you want to do is power it on while you have the setup button uh, pressed for about three to six seconds. So I'm gonna get our cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to my power source. And then uh, direct instruction says, press on the setup button for about three to six seconds, hold it down while, um, before actually plug it in to the power source. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that button, keep it holding down and connect. So if you can see here while I'm doing that, it's actually flashing and I just have to keep it on while it's flashing on the amber color until it gets to blue. So as soon as it gets to blue, that's about it. It actually flashed uh, whatever was into that uh, micro SD card. Now from here is really straightforward. Now that we have that going, I am going to use my OBS to set up to see if I can get a new camera into it. So right now, I'm just waiting for I'm just waiting for the Wise Cam to finish the installation process. Now that that is installed, I am going to go ahead and use our USB A to USB A cable. I'm going to plug it in. And now we're going to go into our OBS and just add a new camera source. Wow, so this one is actually called the HD USB camera, uh, obviously, because we have this plastic here. There you go. Now, it's not the best quality, but it does do its job. It works as a webcam, pretty straightforward, nothing too fancy. You can change the resolution. You either have 1080, uh 720 and 360 so this is 1080 we have 720 which is definitely smaller and then 360 i'm going to definitely leave it at 1080 um the highest frames per second is actually 30 what if we put it up into seven yeah yeah the fastest resolution um frames per second is actually 30 frames so as you can see here it's not the best quality you know you can actually add filters into OBS and you can use it as a normal camera it's actually called the HD USB camera and that's how you set up your Wise camera as a webcam now if you want to go back into the normal Wise security camera setup just need to download the latest version available for the Wise firmware uh, do the same thing put in the uh, the bin file into the micro SD card put it in flash it again You know press and hold the setup button while you connect the power cable or the power source uh, And then just give it a couple of minutes for it to flash into the new firmware and that's about it Hey, it's not, it's not bad actually. Uh, I kind of like it. Uh, I would rather use it as a security camera maybe <laughs> um but it does work as a webcam. You know, you can get actually a couple of these set up in different locations. You can have different angles into your, your stream. Now, if you like this kind of videos, these are quick, fast videos on setup and doing little tips and tricks for your streaming. So, hope you like the video. And if you wanna watch more videos about streaming and how to set it up in the proper way, go ahead and watch my Streaming Wiz playlist or also my latest video. This was Edio4. See you on the next one.